And welcome back to the Husky Highlight Show. I'm Lauren Lemieux, sports video producer for The Daily. And I'm Taylor Soper, sports multimedia producer for The Daily. And we're here at Matthew Knight Arena after the 82-57 loss to the Oregon Ducks. And let's get straight to the highlights. The Oregon highlights, that is. The Ducks dominated the Huskies every second of this game. Garrett Sim got the flow going for Oregon. He went 3-for-3 three three from the three-point line and had 13 total points in the first half. Desmond Simmons was the leading scorer for UW in the first with five total points. The Huskies had seven turnovers that resulted in 12 points for U of O. They went 1-for-8 from the free-throw line and were trailing Oregon by 23 at 49-26 at halftime. If there was any hope for the dogs, going into the second half, Oregon crushed it quickly as Tony Woods made this alley-oop dunk 10 seconds into the half. Tony Roten had four steals for the Huskies and led the team in scoring with 14 points for the night. But UW shots just would not fall and they couldn't seem to get stops on the defensive end. The Ducks never let up. Carlos Emery slammed this one down for Oregon with 2.20 left to play, bringing them to a 25-point lead at 77-52. The second half looked just like the first for the Huskies, and U of O took the victory by a margin of 25. The final score was Oregon 82, Washington 57. And we're back here at the state-of-the-art Matthew Knight Arena. It's an absolutely beautiful facility, but the Huskies' play tonight was anything but beautiful. Taylor, what do you think went wrong for the dogs tonight? Yeah, I think everything went wrong for the dogs tonight. You know, they had that delay getting here, an accident happened on the way here, only, you know, wasted 45 minutes of their warm-up time, but that's no excuse. You know. Oregon jumped out to that 11-2 lead in the beginning, and it was all over after that. The Huskies shot just 30% in the first half. And the second half, you know, no one really stepped up, like, as we, you know, usually see from, you know, Terrence Ross or C.J. Wilcox. Yeah, absolutely. I think warming up is not an excuse at all for the dogs. I mean, they must have been warmed up after all that running Oregon yeah. had them doing. Right. Oregon absolutely controlled the pace of this game tonight, which is not normal for the Huskies. They're a very fast-paced team. They like to set the pace against other teams and get them in their trap, but they fell into Oregon's trap tonight, and the final score definitely showed it. Yeah, and I mean, on offense, they were bad, but, you know, it starts with defense, as Coach Romar always preaches, and they were just abysmal on defense tonight. Oregon was running circles around them, cutting through the hole, finding open baskets, and on top of that, they were making all their shots, so that made it all the more difficult for the Huskies tonight. Well, I don't feel we're in a rhythm yet, and again, the missed shots, the missed layups, the wide open missed jumpers that we had, that wasn't the issue. The issue is we, we were negligent on the defensive end and they made us pay for it. I feel like we know what we need to do. Uh, we know exactly what happened and why we lost. And I feel like going into Sunday, we're very determined and focused on you know, not letting this happen again. And with the loss tonight, the Huskies fall into a first place tie with Cal. They still have one more road game against the Oregon State Beavers in Corvallis on Sunday at 2.30. For Taylor, I'm Lauren. We'll see you Sunday.